morning! How are you guys in this beautiful, beautiful day? I just woke up. It's literally... I just woke up maybe half an hour ago. Just the time to fix my coffee. It's 10.16. And excuse my face, but it's just a morning face and I really don't care. I want to have a cozy morning video with you chatting about what's been happening. It was about three days ago, I think, that I published a video for uh, the idea that I had of being sponsored to Travel Malaysia. And I thought that I would have put it down yesterday, but it's still up there. And this is because I received an answer about this email, basically. And they told me that um, I need to be addressed to the right department. So now I'm trying to keep contact with the right department and I don't want to put down the video because I want them to be able to see it. So it's still up there and if you want you can still email but I'm not sure if those emails are going to be addressed there or not. So it's still there for now. And I'm going to give you more information later on when I have an answer 100% if it's a yes or it's a no because I want an answer. Okay, I need an answer. Um, but I thought that it was a nice idea and a kind of a cool experiment to see what it would have turned out to be and we don't have anything to lose, right? So we just might try. Um, and I realized that I didn't tell you anything about what we've been up to. Uh, it's been a while actually that I just sat down and talked to you. So I just wanted to tell you that I bought a carry-on coffee mug. No, I'm joking. Now it's been one month and a half that we've been living in Melbourne uh, I worked for one month and a half so after four days that we moved here I started to work in this company it's a clothing brand and I helped them with the liquidation so the company shut down and yesterday we closed the last store if you've been following me on Instagram you see that probably I didn't work that hard it's been like a lot of fun actually uh, probably the funniest retail job that I've ever done oh. Mm. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that Vincent as well is working in retail for a very, 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 very fancy brand that I cannot say here. Um, and he has his contract until the 7th of November. Uh, afterwards, he might get extended the contract because they will need uh, Christmas sale people. Uh, so we believe that probably around January, if everything goes well, he will still have this job, so now I'm currently on a new job hunt, which is kind of nice to break, in particular when it's about retail, that I really don't want to work in retail. So if I knew that I had to stay six months working in retail, I would have been like, Pshh. So it was fun, it lasted six, week, six weeks, and there is a possibility that something very, very exciting for me is coming up. Uh, starting from October so fingers crossed I have the official interview tomorrow and that would be like my dream job basically so I really hope I can manage to get it but until then then I will have to find another kind of job uh, because I cannot afford to be one month and a half without working so this is all about working we moved in the new flat I'm gonna give you a little tour in a bit it's actually an Airbnb and it's a hotel in the St. Kilda area, just by the beach. I love it. I, the thing that I love the most is the position because the flat itself is, it's a studio, it's just a bedroom and then it has a little kitchen that is not even a kitchenette. But I will show you in a second. But the position is so good because you literally step out and you have so many restaurants, bars. I mean, there is this brunch place just next to us that we went once when we came to St. Kilda. And I'm like, I look at it, I'm like, oh, I want it every single day. I want it, I want it. So now I'm waiting for weekend. The winter is going to be off and we're going to go there for brunch. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. And it's just the beach here. So it's like everything just two steps from home. A supermarket and so on. And I'm really looking forward to this weekend. The winter is going to be off so we can do some proper filming. Um, we are probably going to go to the beach at night because there is something so exciting happening there so that I want to show you. And then we are going to have brunch and then we are going to see an art exhibition. So I will do another weekend vlog for you and I hope you will enjoy it. Um, 
but yeah it's been very hard to find an accommodation in particular because when we were looking we didn't have like i had this job that would have lasted other four weeks and means i didn't have any job at all so we were like ah oh, we cannot commit ourselves to a long term uh, because what if we don't find a job and we need to move on we need to go to another city maybe to sydney or whatever uh, and also they come all unfurnished the flats so you need to buy your own furniture mm. and it's minimum six months rent and they're expensive so it was all like uh, 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 we want something short flexible so it was like so stressful and then i was like okay let me go on airbnb and I've seen that this hotel here in St. Kilda has a section that is Airbnbs. It's like a little building with seven flats. And our one was not supposed to be a flat. It's actually just a bedroom with a fridge, with a microwave. And I asked them, could you kindly just add like an electric hob or something like this so we can transform it in a sort of kitchen. So they did it for us. And the good thing is that we can extend the stay month by month. So that's great we've been so lucky with it and on airbnb it was actually pretty expensive i'm not gonna say that there is another way to get things a bit cheaper they're not just from airbnb the price mm. i wish i could talk to you but i can't anyway we got it cheaper than airbnb price let's put it like that Regarding the future plans, so if this job of mine is going to turn out right, I want to stay six months uh, because that's the minimum that they require me to stay. But that doesn't mean that we are not going to travel because it's a job that we require a lot of traveling. Uh, so we will totally do tons of things around Australia and we would like to fit New Zealand in one way or another. So we will see how we can do that. And of course, if this Malaysian thing is going to turn out right, we have to do it. And my top bucket list place is Japan. And I'm turning 30 years old in December. And I want to gift myself this trip to Japan. Of course, both New Zealand and Japan are like so expensive countries. And sometimes I'm like, oh, screw everything. With the money of one of the two countries, we can travel again all over <laughs> Southeast Asia. <laughs> but uh, that wouldn't be right because those two places they've been on our top bucket list. And New Zealand is so close to Australia. If we will fly from Europe, it will cost us so much money. And here we can fly going and return for like 300 euros or something like that. Uh, so we have to do it. We have to do it. But of course, we are not gonna be able to travel the whole country like we did in Southeast Asia because Southeast Asia is so cheap and you can like travel almost everywhere but New Zealand is like you need to donate your blood basically to be able to afford that travel so we are starting to study a little bit like a way to do it in a cheaper way probably we'll be renting a van and doing one of the two islands not the north and the south island just one of the two which probably will be the north one because it's where they film The Hobbit, Lord of the Ring and the nature it seems like very like how you expect New Zealand to look like but then there are so many cool things even in the South Island so it's so hard I don't know we will see and the same thing for Japan we cannot travel all of it unfortunately so I suppose we will do Tokyo Kyoto Hiroshima probably and I want to do a lot of the countryside like all these onsen places and yeah just really live the right Japan so that's gonna be so cool but we need to save tons of money for that and Vincent is earning quite well as always he always earns so much more than me and he works less than me not true not true this time I didn't work at all uh, but we'll see we'll see so this is the future plan and we plan to leave this part of the world around May let's say um, spend a little bit of time in Italy with my family and then go to Sweden and probably bring my parents to Sweden because they haven't seen yet our new flat we bought a flat in Sweden uh, that was about nine months before we left and they haven't been there so I really want them to come with us a few weeks when we 
when we go to Sweden because June is supposed to be the best month, it's supposed to be. So you have a lot to look forward if you want to keep following us. We will have a lot of travels from Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Italy, Sweden. You get to see our homes. There are a few videos I filmed mm, like right before we started to travel. And yesterday actually I was watching you and I was like, oh my god, what kind of... I was so shy and yeah. Oh my god, yeah, this is the tram. And you hear it so close that I need to sleep with the earplugs. <laughs> Everything has its pros and cons, right? We cannot have it all. Mm, so yeah, it's gonna be so much to see for you guys and I think it's gonna be so exciting also for you to see where we come from, where we live. I don't think I'm gonna be able like to show properly our flat because for privacy reasons. Uh, but our cities and our family and everything, so it's gonna be so exciting. But that's gonna happen a very long while. I mean, it's gonna be like one year almost before we go home. So, so much more is gonna happen and right now here is winter so we haven't been doing so much in this month first because we've been looking for a new flat we've been looking for jobs and so on so we didn't have the time but also it's been so cold and like so windy as well um so we didn't use our days off to do the road trips like we would have liked to do but in about a few weeks it should start spring should start actually it's kind of starting but it's like one day and then two days it's freezing and then it's one day it's warmer so i'm very looking forward when the weather gets better so we can do these kind of daily trips and show you all the surrounding and the beautiful things about melbourne and uh, hopefully we can do some kind of like short trips and fly maybe to cairns or something like that so it's gonna be exciting actually yay you want to see the flats then? Let's do it. So here we have the door entry. You see it's very hotel style. And here is like this door that brings to the next flat. And I said that I was not going to give any information about where Vincent works. So, and we have the bed over here. And I like that it has these huge windows. So I can sit there as I was before with my coffee and looking outside. I really like those windows actually and it's kind of a cute little Hollywood. Nice weather today. It's pretty windy and then it stops and then it's windy again. And look what a cool building. I don't know if you can see. And literally the branch place is just down there. I mean it's that close. It's so good. And then we have wardrobe, aircon. TV and they bought an HDMI cable for two dollars so we can watch our oh my god we are so obsessed with TV series we are so bad at it actually like right now we're watching Game of Thrones uh, Suits and uh, Fear the Walking Dead at the same time and I'm trying to force Vincent to watch Gilmore Girls but he's refusing but now and then I managed to throw in there one episode so it's so nice to just watch it from there and then we just lay in bed and we're like mm -hmm. particularly when it's winter you don't have much more to do isn't it um yeah and then we have here the table and I kind of improvised this decoration so we had that kind of uh, how do you call it? needle? I don't know, in the wall. And I put this thread and hanged our little uh, thing that you will recognize from all the time. <laughs> and they are hanging with bobby pins. And this thread is actually something that I bought before going traveling and then we never used, which is the clothes wire to dry the clothes. <laughs> That's crazy. And then we went to Ikea and bought two little candle holders just to give that little, little touch of coziness. Those lights also bought in Ikea. And those I bought them because when we will go to New Zealand, I want to have them in the van. And this is basically our kitchen. <laughs> the chest of drawer and the hob, electric hob. This for drying the dishes when we wash them. A shelf for food. I need to throw away, away the rubbish. Microwave, pans, kettle and fridge. And now we go to the bathroom. Our stuff hanging. 
sink. So basically here we have to wash the dishes as well and then I take this thing and I put it back here because I don't like to have it in the toilet of course. And we have the toilet in here that keeps flushing non stop. And the shower. Pretty big. So again, it's not luxury, it's not, but it, it works perfectly. And we are spending basically the same amount that we will spend for sharing a flat and not even having a, our own bathroom in the room. So we were like, we have our own space here and we still manage to cook basic thing. I mean, we cannot do oven roasted stuff, of course, but whatever, who cares? I mean, at the end, traveling is also sacrificing and I think we've been pretty spoiled during our travels and this is not even that big of a sacrifice, actually. I mean, it perfectly works. Uh, so we're probably gonna stay here as long as we can. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. It was just a quick update about what's going on. The next video is gonna be probably... I had... I have a list of videos planned about things that I want to talk to you about, like a lot of fun stuff as well. And uh, also I need to let you know properly what they're gonna tell me from the Malaysian government, which I hope they will answer soon. Um, but it was fun and I mean, we are so grateful for all of you for the support. We were shocked. I thought like, I counted on five or six people that would have sent the email. But it turned out to be like, for what you told us, maybe 80 people said the name, it was like shocking. So thank you so much and thank you for the support and I hope that even if we won't manage to come back to Malaysia, I mean, I want to try, even if they're not sponsoring us, I really want to try at least a few days on our back home, on our way back home to stop to Kuala Lumpur and maybe to Putrajava because everyone is be like, you need to go to Putrajava and we didn't manage and maybe do like a meet up with you guys. Uh, so I don't know, we will see. Something will happen, but I hope that you want to stick with us in the meanwhile because I mean, Malaysia is an amazing country, but there are a lot of other nice countries as well because that's the problem with many of you Malaysians. As quick as you are not in Malaysia, you don't watch people anymore. That's so bad. And for all the non-Malaysian ones, let me know where you are from uh, because I know that the majority of people are Malaysians but actually we have over a thousand viewers that they are not from Malaysia and it's kind of fun because it's like from so many different countries I can see from the, uh, from the YouTube analysis of the channel and stuff like that like there are at least 30 more countries that they're following us and it's so fun I just want you to comment and let us know where you are from so we can get to know you a little bit better as well because here is not just me or me and Vincent talking to the camera but it's actually a community so we all talk with each other and actually it feels so bad sometimes I'm like filming 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 and talking and I kind of hate it because I like to talk and have a proper conversation with people but then I turn out to be just me talking alone and it feels so self-centered and I don't like it that's why I want you to comment and let me know anything what do you think what are you doing what are your plans I don't know whatever you feel you want to share with our community do it thank you for watching guys see you super soon